Hello everybody, I would like to continue with my test connecting directly the funnel from troop user by Polar Tesla coil. There are some interesting results to see here, specifically frequency and, and, and the power into the system, how the plasma is behaving inside this tube. Bear in mind, I requested the specific um, electron configuration here that is not something you can buy off the shelf because I wanted to have the full um, sphere inside as plasma which you can modulate so you will see that there are some other things as well I will go through here which are a bit strange maybe some of you have an idea what's going on here so I will show that later on but let's get started here Frequency is much higher than before, it's about 1.245 megacycle. And I will energize. So you see the polarity is coming up on both sides. But then it's like a pressure wave, you can see it here, I increase the voltage is moving over to the other side. And then it pushes it over here. To this side as you can see here so that seems to be quite uniform at the moment increase a little bit higher so at the moment it's about 100 watt that's quite intense so let's have a look so my hand have big influence so I can play around here and change this a bit the plasma so if I if I reduce the power a bit I have a little bit more possibility to shape it as you can see here I can do quite a lot no sensation at all it's cold at the moment if I just put my hand like set straight nothing if I put the tips on it then yes. We reduce a little bit the power. So like that, that is a bit in the middle, as you can see that. Now let's see what I can do now. See, I can influence the whole field now with my hand. I can shape literally with my hand the plasma inside this cloud let me get up to the initial power level again um, 100 watt interesting to say is as you can see here fluorescent bulb cannot be lit here on that frequency range at all I have nothing absolutely nothing there's still some AC there's still frequency I can measure with my very sensitive system I use like this one quite intensive however it's not enough or it's not at the level it's required oh here now it comes here okay but it took some while I have to touch it literally if I don't touch it nothing happens here so that's quite interesting for that power level of, um, so I, I assume that's because it's not in resonance so this the, the bipolar tesla coil is not in resonance to itself it is in resonance to the tube here which has its own frequency field if you want I want to run now a little bit through the frequency band um, to see here how 
since the plasma is moving as you can see here it, I'm changing it uh, by 1k how it changes literally like you almost can see it's kind of a pressure wave which comes then from from the electrode which is pushed inside until it gets homogeneous so that is quite nice and strong here it pushes it off on the other side as you can see here that it goes back so I have it looks like I have a small glow on the right hand side and have a larger field on the left hand side now now turning back getting lower and separated on both sides the glow stays but it's not really much going on current draw is reduced by 50% at the moment not much much going on I'm at, at 1.32 mega cycles let's go back again to 1 2 5 what I had before yeah I'm getting closer getting stronger here you can see can the fields expanding from the left hand side and now it's getting focused in the middle you can see it quite nice here I get a nice bend now in the middle until it flips over and stays kind of separated on both sides now it moves over to the right hand side as you can see here if I go below then and here on that level control is quite high but the field is not that strong anymore. One to six, so there's a small band where it's ideal. So here there's ex very strong excitation in the field, literally, with this band here in the middle. It's very strong. The current is good, so I can increase that quite strongly. So, so when I increase then the voltage, it flips over. And the close and becomes stronger, so the whole plasma becomes then. Um, so that's about yeah 100 watt now in the system. The field is so strong. I, I have not much. No, I can. I can still. If I go from here, I can influence the field here. Yeah. But not to extent that I can completely disarrange the whole configuration here I want to show you here on the analog oscilloscope because it's much more sensitive um, what's going on here um, in the final tone group so at the moment I have over tuned it to one two five six mega cycles if I go down to the original value so the the current is lower it's about one amp let me go down so you see that they are separating and it, the field becomes stronger the current is also very high and it got a little bit lower so even by going lower with voltage it keeps in this value and let me go down to one three four five so that's interesting to see so that's how it varies that's what you could see when this pressure wave from right to left moved that's how it looks on the oscilloscope so that is actually doing the same thing when I was moving before it you could see it moves from right to left in a kind of a round wave it moved up and that's how it looks on an oscilloscope 
If I go back up, or let's say I focus it to the middle, increasing a bit so I can see a bit better. So now it's in the middle. So that actually now is running in parallel, both waveforms if you want. That's the last picture from the oscilloscope. That's how it looks at the moment like. So I have now a couple of probes connected. So this is the one which goes to the analog scope. See how strongly I can influence this field. That's how it looks like on the oscilloscope when I move around here with my hand. We're changing the field. Okay, back to normal. So I have also connected here on the back you see oscilloscope probe goes to the Tesla coil and one on the input side as well. Let me show you. So the bottom side is the Tesla coil, the top side I measure on the capacitor on the input side if you want. So you see literally then here the pulse is coming in and um, because it's not really in sync on a, on a Tesla coil you have a rather low um, value here. But as I mentioned before we synchronize it between the two electrodes on the final drum tube. What I saw yesterday what I wanted to show was a pulsating, a quite intensive pulsating. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but the field is pulsating here. It is pulsating. I could see that quite quite directly on the oscilloscope as well in an interval of one second. Today I cannot see that uh, I cannot replicate it anymore. So there must be some kind of external influence at that time. But I see this field is fluctuating. It is. It is. Uh, not sure if you can see it. Maybe slightly only. Not sure if the camera can capture that. But it is fluctuating. So, magnetic influence. The last test. Because this field is not that strong, it has some kind of magnetic influence on the plasma. Yes, it has. You can see it here. It pulls out the form, but the complete field is not as strong as it was with the dielectric field. So the electron contains it quite um, quite good in here, so it doesn't look very efficient to energize it in that fashion. But I can tell you I have already new tubes in the making, so I get some new tubes which I like to test and then we can do some more tests in the future.